The African Network for Environmental and Economic Justice have commenced the training of persons and organizations expected to monitor the federal government's disbursement of about $325 million, um, almost 117 billion naira of a budget loot from the Swiss government. The initiative known as the Mantra Project will ensure funds recovered through acts of corruption are not reluted so that they can provide value for beneficiaries of the gov federal government's social investment programs targeted at Nigeria's poorest of the poor. The Mantra Project stems from the fact that there is a problem in Nigeria uh, surrounding the issue of asset recovered from those who stole money from Nigeria. When they return the money back, people want to see what the money is used for. So this project was conceptualized to deal with those challenges. A mantra was launched by the Vice President in collaborations with other stakeholders. And as stakeholders, we have drawn across, including the beneficiaries of the conditional cash transfer. We built one brand movement called Mantra. And first time in history in this country, citizens can boldly say that they are following up what Abasha's money recovered is used for. That for me is something that is remarkable. It again demonstrates that when government is committed to making things happen, it is possible. So partnership has happened, um, collaboration has happened, and high level of transparency and accountability has happened. And so we say we have achieved the primary objective of Mantra One. The more citizens begin to take interest to see how those projects impact positively in the minds of the people, the better for this country. This uh, project is really changing the narrative from the pro poor people, where they have access to 5,000 naira monthly. And one of the particular thing is that the people organize themselves into cooperative, where they contribute uh, money when the money is paid, they contribute some money, and then giving to one of the one of the uh, beneficiary to start a business. And apart from that, the uh, SIP program trained some of them. For example, in Ekiti State, there, are, there is a woman, a widow. She's into local beans. That's what they call it, local beans in Ekiti State. She can only produce according to her own power because she's using manual system. But through this project, she was able to gather money and where she was able to buy a machine. And producing maybe uh, two kilograms of local beans before has now taken it to maybe about 10 in a week. And this has expanded the scope of her business. And now she's now in a new level. And these are some of the things that some of them are doing. Some of them go into skill acquisition program before they are enrolled into the project and they were able to save money to buy equipment to aid their production and their investment. The essence of the project that we know is to monitor the looted money. And my expectation for the program is for me to be able to learn the strategies. Not only the strategies, because we know if you have the strategies, that will be like a technical know-how that will boost your ability and also to build my capacity on how to undergo the projects. 